What's it gonna take? Please will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deke, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Ah. I don't have time for this right now. Wait! That's Deacon. Behind him! You! You! Right up the road and make sure they don't come back. Now! Hunt them down! What was left of it? Yeah. What was left of it? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What was it? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addie told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. with Boozer. All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. I and Mike were negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the rivers. No oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Had that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. Ha, <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up in Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. 
not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, I'm we need to do arm. this and we need to do this yeah. right now. Do what? No. Huh? Don't you, oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it. No, no. De no, you're not, no way. No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. Deacon, listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Andy, we're losing him. Stay away. Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deacon. Deacon. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. No! Oh, no. Loser, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking and hold him. Hey, you did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon, get out here! I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's there gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Hey, Blair, how are things in the gun trade? Okay. Good one. Okay. 
Uh, yep. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Ah, Deacon St. John. How's it going, Joe? Hmm, okay, good. That's all I got today. Good to see you, Deke. Buzz, how you doing? What can I get you? Don't beat her up too bad. Sure, all right. See you around. I was in my classroom when... Uh... Hey, Deke, let me get the game. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Ricky, what's up? <laughs> I just wanted to say I'm Sorry about what happened yeah. to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Yeah. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list tonight, Boozer would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to cut him up. Anyway, I... We hope... Deacon, you there? Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Well, Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien! Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien! I told you they're not my friends. Okay, hit it on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. No, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. And she's there to investigate an infected subject. The freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. Hmm. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? O'Brien out. Sound off, people. Clear over here. All good. Yep. Perimeter's clear. Doc, you're good to go. <laughs> Anyone else hear that? Wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying 
Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is that it? Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. she talking about O'Brien about this virus whatever the hell it is or what what it's doing I want to know what the hell's going on O'Brien why are they out here what the fuck are you doing O'Brien okay I'll be in touch O'Brien out oh boy this is gonna get old fast Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteer to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refuse to work for Schizo. Something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess he's stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop and we've got a job for you. Yeah, perfect. Beacon up. There. Deacon St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deacon. Hey. Uh, I'm feeling a little out of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh, got tired of listening to the radio free Oregon. You know, he takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Listen, Boozer. Got you.
Wonder what Nero left behind this time. Should be clear now, damn freakiness. Should be safe now. Feels, yes. <laughs> now we're in business. I'll let you do it.
scrap.
Deacon, let him in. Deacon, good to see you. Everybody keeps getting by While I sit here, I keep getting high How can I do this to myself? I can't look in the mirror in my own fucking house And I don't really love me But baby, you're killing me And I don't really want to be alone but when you're around, all we do is fight And I can't sing no more My motivation up and walked out the door And every time I try to scream again My empty heart stops beating, leaving me with no friends And I don't really love me But baby, you're killing Everybody keeps getting by While I sit here, I keep getting high How can I do this to myself? I can't look in the mirror in my own fucking house And I don't really love me But baby, you're killing me And I don't really want to be alone but when you're around, all we do is fight And I don't really love me But baby, you're, you're killing me And I don't really want to be alone tonight But when you're around, all we do is fight uh. Deacon, good to see you Blair, how's it going? Yep. Good one. Uh, good choice. Hey, Deke. Um, you be careful out there. Ah, Deacon St. John. How's it going, Joe? <laughs> hey, Deacon. Buzz, how you doing? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Okay. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Hey, Ricky. You said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. 
You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red. Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that... You here to buy something? A hey, buzz. Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, Damn I don't it. think so. Freak. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Like a prince that some fancy oh, cowboy boots would make. They got him! They got him!
more blueprints. Yeah, this way. Freaks! Almost out.
some more spit. Men coming! No, no! Hiding in one of these shacks. Huh? He had it coming. One that I shot? You mouth it off to me. Nothing to see, really. She should have known, too. I don't take. I don't want to have to kill you, Drifter! But I will! Oh, there he is. Gate. It's Deacon. Let him in. Me and a couple of guys burned out. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Freaks remember anything about their life? That's all I got. You know, from before. No, the mines are gone. I remember reading about it. The virus. Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. This is gonna take hours. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Buzz, how's a camper's life? They can never go wrong with a tuna. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Deek, deek, deek. <laughs> What's been keeping you away so long? Hey, Blair, how are things in the gun trade?
Uh, yep. Deke, take care now. We got enough venison now to keep folks fed for days. Deke? I've been, uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been up to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like it. Here, let me take care of them. All right. I guess I can do that. Nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. 